Julie Andrews is an English singer, actress, and author famous for her roles in The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins. An operation in 1997 left her legendary voice permanently damaged. An estimated 6% of the U.S. population has a vocal disorder. Researchers in Robert Langer's lab have developed synthetic vocal cords that may one day help heal damaged vocal cord tissue. Well, Julie Andrews has visited our lab several times. We've had a collaboration with Steve Zytels, who's a voice surgeon at Harvard Medical School, and she's been one of his patients, and she would like to see, not necessarily even for her own sake, but she just feels that people needing new vocal cords, and it's not just singers, but it's people who have cancer, babies who are intubated with tubes. There's a lot of people who need new vocal cords, so I think she really wanted to learn about what we were doing and to see if there was any way she could help. And uh, she's just a, a wonderful person, and you know, to, uh, I think everybody in our lab really enjoyed interacting with her. So as you can see, it will start fluttering. I mean, that's what actually happens even in real human vocal cords. Sandeep, one of the, our postdocs, who's a chemical engineer, he has been working with Dr. Zytels and myself, and we've made these gels that uh, can vibrate and that can, place, uh, that can replace uh, scar tissue. This problem of restoring pliability to scarred vocal cords is is difficult and basically, if you may, unsolved, really. So I'm uh, Dr. Sandeep Karajanagi. Uh, I was a postdoc in Dr. Robert Langer's lab when I developed this uh, artificial vocal cord. What we have here is a model of the vocal cords that uh, we have made um, using the gel. The primary function of vocal cords is to produce sound, and then it comes to uh, speech uh, based on manipulations of the vocal cords themselves and other manipulations. Uh, so what this model tries to replicate is that fluttering that happens to vocal cords. What this demonstrates is actually that our gel material is soft and elastic enough that it can actually get into motion, if you may, uh, using an air pressure that is as low as what a human uh, lung can produce, essentially. There are estimates that about 6% of the American population has some kind of a voice problem. So right now, if you look at it, uh, there could be millions and millions of people uh, who would have a scar, who would potentially benefit. I ideally, we, we might be able to hear Julie Andrews at full power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hope. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm waiting for, really. That would be great, you know, if we are able to uh, help Julie Andrews. Well, I, I don't know that Julie Andrews would be the first patient that this would get tried on. I think there are many people who, who would like to use it if it ever becomes available. I think she feels, from my conversations with her, that that would just be a good thing for the world. Happiness.